the New Orleans Pelicans have a chance of being a very, very dangerous team this year. And there's a plethora of reasons why. But the number one reason is the return of Zion. What I love about this play is you see the explosiveness of Zion as he drives into the lane. Doesn't finish it initially, but then you see the second jump ability and the power going right back up, getting rebounds and points all over the court. Zion finished with 25 points and nine rebounds on 50% shooting. And that's a low day for Zion, 50% shooting. It's going to be dangerous. Then you also have the veteran CJ McCollum who can get you buckets in all different types of ways. I love this play right here because on the previous play, CJ McCollum had missed a wide open three. So he decided to come right back to him off the floppy action. And this is a tough shot on the move. But CJ McCollum makes tough shots is what he does. And you saw that all throughout this game. And CJ ended the game with 21 points and six assists, being a veteran leader that he is. And let's not forget, with the return of Zion, the veteran CJ McCollum, the guy who stirs the drink for this team, the engine that makes this car go, is Brandon Ingram. I believe that Brandon Ingram will be an all-NBA player this year. Look at his skill set, man. He can score on all three levels. And in this particular play, you see the fadeaway off the bump. Only so many players can do that in the NBA right now. And Brandon Ingram is one of those guys who can do that on a consistent basis. He can score on all three levels. And you saw that in this game, 28 points, 7 rebounds, and 5 assists. Brandon Ingram, monster. And then outside of the big three, this team has real depth. You think about Jonas Valachunas, double-double machine. Herb Jones, one of the best defenders in the league, and trigger Trey Murphy, who is just improving day by day. It's going to be a real threat off the bench. This team is going to be legit all year long, so get used to seeing the Pelicans and all your highlights.